بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله أتفرق وإختلاف differing and splitting are traits that are mithmum in the shara in general in general it is discouraged and it is disliked and it is muharram to split and differ unless you're splitting and differing with ahl batan and unless you're splitting and differing with falsehood in general then that is implicit in the call to Tawheed, in the Dawah to Ahlu Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, وَلَا تُكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا And do not be like those who split and differed. وَقَالَ تَعَالَى إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينُهُمْ وَكَانَ شِيْعًا لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ شَيْءٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Verily, those who divided their religion and became groups or sects, Shia, less than minhum shay. Then they have no no worth, or it's letting us know that it's mithmoon that this is something hated by Allah to split and to divide into groups and sects. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ وَإِنَّ هَذِ السَّرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَلَا تَأْتَبِعُوا سُبُلْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in this ayat, He says, وَإِنَّ هَذِ السَّرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمًا And verily this is my straight path. That's Allah's path. Is the Surat al-Mustaqeen. Ihdina Surat al-Mustaqeen. Guide us to the straight path, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Fattabi'uhu. And then Allah commands us to follow it. Fattabi'uhu. It's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fattabi'uhu. Wala ta'tabi'u subul. And do not follow the various paths. The various paths. Those paths that lead away from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those paths that lead to extremism. The path that lead to being too, too easy. The paths that lead to the bid'ah in all of its various manifestations. We don't want to follow that. We want to follow the Sabil al-Mu'mineen. The Sabil Allah Azza wa Jal. The Sabil al-Tawheed. The Sabil al-Ahl sunnah The Tariq al-Ahl sunnah Bi'idnillah Ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has encouraged the believers to have unity. Unity based on what you ask? Unity based on Kitab Allah. وَسُنَّةُ الرَّسُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And the understanding of the Salaf. Not unity on our, our democratic party. Not unity on our parliamentary system. Not un unity based on our hizbi, on our, on our group. Not unity with the Quran Muslimin. Not unity based on Jamaat Tabliq's call. Not unity based on anything which goes against Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or encourages batil. But rather unity, wa'tasimu bi hablillah, unity on the hablillah. Unity on the hablillah. Hablillah, referring to what? Ahabatifillah, referring to the Quran. Referring to the Sunnah, referring to the Quran in the Sunnah, Recur referring to the Quran, the Sunnah, and the Jama'ah. Who is the Jama'ah? The Salaf of this Ummah. Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala'inu majma'een. So this is what Allah Azza wa Jal is encouraging us to. Not encouraging us, but ordering us. Fattabi'uhu, follow it. Allah has commanded us to follow that Sabil. Sabila Mu'minin, no matter how few in number you are, no matter who's opposing you from the left and from the right. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahla Sirat Mustaqim. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.